Right, there's something I need to explain. And I'm not doing it to deliberately put you through pain. The problem's not in my heart, more my brain. See, I love you, just not all the time. <laughs> Historically, I choose things that are more slap than tickle, because for me, love doesn't flow in its treacle like trickle, because deep down in my soul, I'm just really fickle. So sometimes I'm not bothered you're mine. Okay, so sometimes I don't love you, but the days that I do, I love you more than Amy Pond from Doctor Who. I feel like breaking into your house and stealing a shoe just so I can smell your feet. But then Mr. Hyde kicks in, and you're out of luck, because no matter how many aphrodisiac oysters you've shucked, the next day I literally cannot be... And I want not your shoes or gametes. Uh, but it's nothing to do with the way you behave when you grow self-important and you rant and you rave about physics. No, there's times when that's what I crave. Although obviously that time isn't now. And perhaps it's my own cognitive misdirection, but it's like you're stuck at a huge intersection. Turn right and you're treated to sexual perfection. Turn left and you're trampled by cows. <sighs> they tell me that pain always stalks pleasure. And I despise and desire you in equal measure. But desire dissipates under too much pressure and it leaves me kind of bereft. So when you tear out my heart, which you will in the end, I punch you for asking, can we still be friends? It doesn't mean I never loved you. I wasn't pretend. I'm just miffed that you didn't turn left. Thank you. <laughs>